Brand new approach, brand new messages. Let's get started for the week beginning November 11th, 2019. Hello everyone, it's Michelle Patterson here with Angel Souls and I thought I would switch it up yet again. And uh, I'm going to do an auto write for our channeled message. But instead of setting up a bunch of different cameras and trying to get different shots and doing all that. I know there are so many readers out there that are way better than me. They've got their fancy rig above them with the overhead camera. Maybe one day when I grow up, I can do that. But today's not that day. Tomorrow's not looking good either. But we'll check back <laughs> at some point. We'll see how this goes. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to keep the camera rolling. My main camera right here. That's my pen. Sorry, I'll put that down while I gesture. Uh, this is my main camera here. So I'll keep that rolling while I am channeling. So I'm not going to be talking into the camera. I'm going to be writing, but you can kind of witness me doing that. And if I go back and edit and it's super boring, which it might be, I will make sure I speed it up. Okay, let's get started. So I think we have a message here. I had Archangel Gabriel, Ariel, and Uriel come forward. And let me just get into it. Let's go. Uh, come to us and let us show you the way. And this is Ariel speaking. The earth is crying for your attention. Let not your fears manifest in her. As it is with your physical body, so too is it with the earth. And I was specifically feeling, I uh, got the face tingles. <laughs> if you guys are just joining me for the very first time, sometimes when I'm doing messages, my, I get the tingles, <laughs> almost like I'm going to sneeze. Uh, and it's usually right around the center of my face. It's very bizarre. But anyway, that's what's happening. Um, so yeah, so I was thinking more of, I started thinking of like the California fires, my love to all of you. Of course, I'm thinking of you always. Um, but this can also, yeah, fire is anger and flooding is tears flooding is tears <sighs> okay um, I'm hearing mountain melt and the mountain yeah the, the snow melting and coming down the side of a mountain so that if you're in a mountainous area be careful of that but it also goes down into cities I don't know if that's exactly just for this week, but <laughs> it came up for this week. So watch when the earth is crying and watch when our energetic rage starts sparking. Okay. And it's interesting that's happening in California. I wonder where else it might start popping up, but um, energetically, and everybody has their point of view, but energetically speaking, this is the earth uh, sort of absorbing because she transmutes, right? Mother Gaia transmutes our energy. That's why we imagine the roots going down into the earth, letting her pure energy come up through us. But that energy goes somewhere if it's not turned into something positive, if it's not transmuted. This is Archangel Zadkiel kind of territory. So that's Z-A-D-K-I-E-L. I'm sure there are other spellings. Just be careful about what angel or archangel you are working with, okay? So when that energy is not transmuted, it just kind of gets dumped out of us and the the earth she responds just like our physical bodies would right so if you have some unresolved emotional hurt it'll start manifesting in a physical way so the message from ariel is for us to be mindful of mindful of that and to see where that is starting to manifest in the earth and start transmuting the energy so before you start cleansing let's say <laughs> cleansing your energy uh, add on there that all the energy that comes out of you be cleansed, blessed, and transmuted into something positive. Okay? Then we have Gabriel coming forward. Give attention to your creativity. <laughs> it needn't be uh, merely with projects, but rather how you create your life. Look around you and see what you have brought into existence. If you are not pleased with what you see, know that what has been created can be created in opposite. So whatever you have around you, if you're saying, oh, you know, everything is starting to fall apart or, you know, you have an incident going on in your life, whatever it may be, that again is an energy that is expressing in, in your outward reality. So 
it can be reversed, all right? There's a reversal thing where you kind of, it's too much to get into here, but you basically go back to before the incident happened, you change the energy around it and let the reality, our, our version of reality, catch up with a new energy, all right? But you have to be, I mean, you have to have a real sense of an understanding of what your soul is <laughs> in order to do that, right? And I don't know that a lot of people are there. Maybe I'm being a little pessimistic. I don't mean to be, but you know, you can always keep that in mind. But I think what Gabriel is getting at here is that you've created this scenario. So instead of looking at it as a bad thing, see it as if, if we need proof, we humans always need proof, don't we? <laughs> proof that you are powerful. And so if you've created this reality, you can create another, right? No problem. But you have to clear away. Remember, we're going to transmute the negative energy when we clear our energy uh, per aerial, <laughs> right? And then we can create something else. But I think this message is also talking about give yourself some credit. Even if you haven't accomplished what you wanted to accomplish, I mean, look at what you have around you. It kind of goes into that whole gratitude thing. <laughs> that little thing we talk about called gratitude, right? All right. And then we have Uriel, U-R-I-E-L, which is different from Ariel, A-R-I-E-L, right? So this is Uriel. You needn't limit your power, but in this power, you must not act as children. This is to say that you may not understand the depth of your actions and their effects. It is not just on your individual life, uh, but in the whole universe. Oh, so your actions affect, you know, the whole collective, basically. Uh, you cannot say, quote, <laughs> it is my life and I will do as I please, unquote, uh, or end quote, I should say, end quote, for this has powerful effect on all. With love, we ask you to contemplate these things. So again, <sighs> That makes a lot of sense to me because I've always, I really always had a problem with somebody's like, it's my life, I'll do whatever I want. And my first immediate response to that is an emotional one, especially when it's somebody who is a family member who's close to me, who I love, or it's a friend who I love. You know, if you're doing, if you're making poor choices and not taking care of yourself, that affects your whole family. You know, that hurts everybody. But they're going even further and they're saying, don't forget, the whole planet is your family. <laughs> And no in between about it. So everybody who wants to, sorry, I'm <laughs> getting a little cough going on here. So everybody who wants to go after their brothers and sisters and see everything from a surface level to jump to conclusions about a person, to assume things, to put your hatred on others, and then you're shocked when you get hatred in return. What this is saying is, is you, you can no longer just go through life saying, hey, I'll do whatever I want. Eh, not exactly. <laughs> it's going to come back and teach you a hard lesson. You have to be more compassionate, considerate, uh, and, and, you know, understand that your, there are consequences for others when you make choices. Yes. So we understand that on a surface level, but we're talking now on a deep energetic level as well. Right. So I'll leave you with that as far as the channeled message goes. I think that's okay. Um, just seeing if there's anything else about that. So just be careful of what you're putting out there energetically. Okay, why am I always dropping the deck? Have you guys noticed this? <laughs> dropping the deck all the time. All right, and the other thing I keep doing, I've got my camera very close. My poor ring light is really old and the sucker needs to be replaced. I think all my lights need to be replaced. <laughs> so I'm trying to be really close so like I'm lit, right? Yeah, I keep bumping the camera. Whatever. I'm doing what I can over here, okay? <laughs> All right, so let's see what we have for the week of November 11th, 2019. Okay, perfect. So what do we have here? We have past lives. Um, we are interdimensional beings, guys. So past lives, if you want to see it that way, it's a very linear way of thinking. <laughs> it's a very human way of thinking of this, but um, hold on. You guys know when I get quiet, there's something coming through about this. Are we just talking about this now? All right. So there's the past lives card. A lot of us Oh, okay. So our creativity, our life force, um, this would, would even be sexual energy. This is the sacral chakra. 
and the root chakra. A lot of that gets affected by who, oh, oh, <laughs> by who we've been before. So this isn't just about past lives, like how you would think like, oh, that's so freaky. I was a nun in a past life, whatever. It's about the past lives you lived within this lifetime. We are in a time where you, it's, it's, you know, there's the potential there for us to have had four or five lives in one. I know I've done that. I've had where as a child, I was the victim, right? Um, had that victim story uh, and then on and on and on. So we have had many lives, many shifts and changes within one. We see people, they don't stay in the same careers anymore. Not like how they used to. We're growing and evolving within one time frame. Okay, so it's speeding up and the evolution of our souls is speeding up. So this past lives is saying you might still be defining yourself under, you know, those old terms. You know, this is who I, hanging on to pain. That's what it is. Hanging on to pain and also cycling around ancestral pain. All right, I'm gonna hate everybody who was the enemy of my ancestors. Even though you're a completely different person, the people you're dealing with are completely different people than their ancestors. Do you understand what I'm saying? And this isn't, everyone loves to hang on to their surface level story. I think that's what this is talking about too, is again, it's just defining yourself by a story, right? If you want to think of us as being in a holographic universe, being plugged into an old program, <laughs> right? Uh, feeding off the wrong grid. And honestly, I mean, depending on what your belief system is, if you believe that there are other beings out there that don't have our best interests at heart, they're feeding off of your anger. And so there might even be some implanting Again, depending on your <laughs> beliefs, there could be some implanting going on to keep an argument going, to keep a fight going. And it's not really what a lot of you want. It's what you feel you have to do. It's to honor your ancestors, but you don't honor anybody through hate, fear, anger, pain, hanging on to pain. You honor no one and you only destroy yourself. So let's work through that this week. I'm going to guess that it's going to take a little bit longer than that, but <laughs> all right. So intimacy, sacral chakra, guys, here we go. Not allowing people to see who you really are. Wow. So these are incredible. Okay. Let me, let me hold it up so you can see the color scheme going on here so far. So the, the, they're very similar in color. If I can get the glare off, there we go. <laughs> so this intimacy card here is talking about nobody knows who you really are. You may not even know who you really are because all you know is the hate that has been, can I say a different word? I don't think I can, implanted within you. Maybe it's from family members. Maybe it's from something else. I don't know. But whatever it is, you need to be comfortable with your within your own skin. And once you do that, once you love yourself, that's a big thing self-love you know about this go tell your friends okay <laughs> self-love is kind of a thing right so once we start getting really comfortable within our own beings we're not allowing ourselves to be defined by our old lives or by someone else's expectation we're not carrying someone else's burden anymore now we can start anew and that's what this card is talking about she's starting fresh okay she is nude. She has nothing to hide. We hear this every time there's nudity in a card in a reading. <laughs> Again, it's a thing, okay? But uh, yeah, so she's really getting in tune with who she really is and, you know, getting this, this has this feeling of once you get to know that, bringing it out into the world. And so instead of coming at something with anger and defensiveness, I mean, I had to on YouTube alone. There are people who are hiding behind very worthy causes and using that as a disguise to hate other people under the name of something that is a worthy cause. And that, guys, I know I'm saying this a little preemptively. I know this is going to make people explode maybe, but there are people who are posing as victims. This gets tricky because we there are real victims out there who need our help. 
certainly. But we, if we love ourselves, we're going to be tuned up and we're going to be able to trust our instincts. So when someone comes at us and your instincts fire off and you're like, no, they're just posing as a victim because they like how that feels. They like having control over other people. They like being able to control uh, how people react to them, right? When we go, okay, no, I, I clock that one. Okay, no, <laughs> this person isn't a real victim. They're just trying to make themselves a victim. And you say, okay, I'm going to back up. And they start to try to ruin you by calling you certain derogatory names and say, how dare you? You know, who knows? I don't want to say too many. I know I have a young audience here <laughs> sometimes. And parents, I hope you're watching these through first to make sure they're appropriate for your little ones. Um, but... You know, when somebody tries to then make you feel guilty for taking care of yourself or make you feel guilty for setting a boundary because they are being used. There's going to be more information coming on that. I am not the person to deliver that. <laughs> They're telling me right now there are lots of beings that use humans, again, to be fed. And so they will plant little seeds of suggestion and say, you know, I'm, I'm putting this in a very kindergartner kind of way, but you should be mad about that. You should hate that person. You should hate that group. You should. And what happens? Nobody ever heals. Nobody ever gets better. People just hang on tight and try to find any reason to hate another. If someone's really doing something, okay. You know, but that's not always the case. People want to um, hang on to the past. They really want to hang on to the past. I could never forgive that. I could, wow, you're going to have a bad day, aren't you? And by the way, thanks for being so energetically lazy and letting the rest of us carry the load. <laughs> like, remember, who was it? Who was it? Who was it? Was it Uriel who said, you can't say it's my life and I'll just do whatever I want? No, you have connections to other people so when you won't get on board with growing on a soul level you affect everybody okay okay <laughs> so the next card we have is co-creation <laughs> that's so funny co-creation we are co-creating with uh fellow human beings so if you want to constantly keep and of course we're uh you know creating with creator but if you want to consistently deny your own heart, to shut your heart down, to never forgive, to just want to hang on to the old story. I have a right to be mad. You ever find those people? They just walk around and they're just always like glaring at people. I had this happen. I'm going to give an example. I was at an airport and there's this coffee place in this airport and I never got to know the guy's name. I should really introduce myself the next time I go into that <laughs> airport, but, and his name tag's always covered up. So I never, I can't really tell what it is exactly, but he is such a beautiful soul. And I'll tell you what, after there was one time I got off of a flight and it was like <laughs> turbulence. Okay. It was like the kind of turbulence, like where I'm like gripping the sides of the chair going, don't tell me this is normal. I feel my imminent death. Like don't, <laughs> right? it was such a stressful flight. And I get off the flight and I go to this coffee place because coffee is going to make your nerves better. I, I don't know what I was thinking. But anyway, he's in there and he is just always ready with a warm, beautiful smile. And I went in one time. There was a woman in front of me. And the moment I walked in, she just started glaring at me. And I'm like, girl, I almost died on a plane, okay? <laughs> like, <laughs> why are you mad? Did you have a death-defying flight as well? Like, you want to emotionally eat with me? I shouldn't joke about that. That's a real problem over here. But, um, you know, I didn't understand why she, the moment I walked in, she just hated me. And I could tell she was looking, because she wasn't really, well, she was put together, but she had, she looked like a, like she looked like she just came from a board meeting. And I looked kind of like this, <laughs> right? Like not from a board meeting, right? And I felt like her, like she was just judging me. And I started to get kind of like, you know, I am not in the mood. Oh, it's Stellium Scorpio over here. So you know how we are. Um, and I started to go into that place and it was a defensive place. And then I just stopped and I'm like, wow, what must your life be like if you go around with that much hate and judgment in your heart? Man, you're missing so many good things. She wasn't even noticing the barista who's really awesome and such a beautiful energy. She didn't even recognize him behind the counter. He might even be an angel in disguise, <laughs> or at least the angels are working through him. 
You know what I mean? So that's what I'm talking about. Which person do you want to be? Do you want to be that person that finds the good in people and finds the good in life? And you're not here to save everybody. Of course not. You know, but you can light up someone's day. This guy has never done anything but make me coffee. Okay. And smile and make a little bit of small talk with me. And it means the world to me. <laughs> All right. Especially after a flight. This woman, you know, in this example, she must go around glaring at everybody, assuming everyone's out to get her. What kind of existence is that? Which person do you want to be? Get your clarity this week. All right. Then we have, oh, I got chills. Decision. <laughs> Which person do you want to be? Make the decision. Make the decision, guys. And you know what? Yeah, there might be a lot of crying. There might still be a lot of pain. But you need to illuminate your own situation. You need to illuminate your own past. And then make the decision to let it remain in the past. Okay? You do that, you're going to not only unleash yourself, but you're going to be helping out the rest of us. Get on it, okay? <laughs> oh, that card was sticking out. I feel like we should read this one. But I want another one because we didn't really get a chance to... To shuffle. All right. I keep trying to, <laughs> I can't hold cards anymore. Oh, I will be batch filming. So I will probably be looking exactly like this to film the next video. I always try to make sure you guys have your messages. You have your content, no matter what's going on in my life. <laughs> I do what I can to plan ahead, right? All right. So I think one more shuffle should do it. What do we have here? Hmm. Well, well, well. All right. So the first card we had sticking out was Apricot, Rejoice and Laugh. The number is 20. And that's what that looks like. Go ahead and take that color in. Maybe even the image means something to you. <laughs> All right. So there is that. And we have Brilliance, Discover Your Sparkle. The number is 26. How amazing is that? Everything that we're talking about here, if you just listen to that, if you just give it, look at this, it's like the waterfall. You're letting everything go. Everything's getting cleansed away. And that's how you become brilliant. That's how your energy sparkles. And guess what? All those people you just automatically assumed were enemies might be friends. They might be allies. Stop shutting each other out. We are all sisters and brothers. And it is time for us to step up in our energy because we're all counting on one another. Okay, so we're going to leave it there, guys. I'm sending you so much love and take care.